So the hair is looking rubbish. It's time to put a wig on. Hi my lovelies, it's Nisha. So today I've got a new wig to review for you. Uh, and also I want to show you how I keep my wig on because that seemed to be a question I know in one of my videos in my wig review playlist I probably have talked about it but I thought I'd do it again and by the way the playlist is here so today I have for you brand new Noriko Zion and here she is I thought that would be very good wig for me because it's quite a similar haircut to what I've got now. It's a slightly angled, bland bob. This one, I would say, has even like feather out. It's not actually very bland because it looks like it's got like choppy, like the ends been chopped into. The first thing I noticed though, this is by the way in a, a creamy toffee R, which is my favorite so I thought color in Noriko but the first thing I noticed when I took this wig out was that it was a bit warmer than my favorite Noriko wig Jackson so I've got Jackson here I just want to compare the colors maybe I'm mistaken but I'm sure Jackson's got a bit more coolness in it so here's Jackson it does look a bit warmer in a monitor than when I'm looking at it. And here is a Zion. Where is the front of it? Okay. So this is Jackson. This is Zion. There isn't actually that much difference. But can you see here? I've got Jackson. Can you see he's got a bit more like this white creamy highlights whereas this one doesn't seem to have that many so there is very slight difference but i think that's quite normal let me show you the cap of it because this is my first noriko wig that has a lace front um, i've only had a couple of noriko wigs and none of them had lace front just a standard cap so i thought that was really good so it's a open wefted cap has a lace front and as you can see also has a middle monofilament which means that the parting is in the middle but as you can see it's quite wide so you can go a bit off center which I would do so first thing you do when you get the wig turn it upside down because it's been squashed in a box shake it then run your fingers through it just to loosen up the fibers a bit because you know they've been stuck to the cap in a box for ages and then you put it on and you brush it when it's on your head now when i i quickly put this wig on and one thing i wanted to say is that the first thing you notice is the quality of the lace the lace is much thicker rougher than on something like Raquel Welch wigs but that is reflected in a price this is also synthetic fiber and this is not heat resistant but Noriko's fibers are very very good quality very um, resilient fiber I don't feel like they tangle much but when I looked at the lace it was quite big so I just want to show you, I've got this contraption <laughs> and this is like a wig head with a, what do you call it, vice and you screw that to the table, this moves, I think I bought it on Amazon probably somewhere, you put the wig on and you can, you know, trim it or whatever you want to do to the wig because sometimes it's difficult to do it on your own head. So I've put it on that and I trimmed the lace and I plucked a few hairs as well. And now I am not very good at this, so I just make it up as I go along. I don't know if I did it right, 
but that's what I did so have a look what I did okay so can you see this lace here I'm going to try to trim that and maybe pluck some hairs here on the side Okay, now how I keep the wig on. So you might see a lot of people using wig cap and you can get one like this that is like a fishnet tights and then you get ones that are more nylony. I must say this is quite good because you put it like a hood over your head onto your neck and then you pull it up, you pull your hair in it and that's how you keep your hair. I find, maybe this cap is not very good, I find that the caps slip under my wig. So I rather not use caps. What I use is wig grip. And wig grip is this headband, which is velvety, is stretchy, and it has a Velcro adjustment. I love this thing. So when you put it on, what you have to do, you have to run your fingers because when you run your fingers in one direction, the band is slippery. If you run it opposite direction, you can feel resistance. So I want, if the resistance is that way, that's how I'm going to put my wig on, my my wig grip on because you must remember if you have resistance that way your wig won't slip there is another band that is called wig fix and this is silicone band with little um, knobbly bits on it and they are both good but I find with this I can adjust it and I've got quite small head I would say mine is like petite average and I feel, even though this is stretchy, I don't feel as secure with that one. The good thing about it is that this is see-through, so you won't see it through um, your monofilament. Whereas sometimes with this, you know, it might look a bit too, um, you know, this is not exactly scalp color. But you just have to make choice which one is more comfortable for you, which one you prefer. So what I do, I just have a clip in my hair, but I will leave it like that. I will put this band on. So which way was it? It's this way. Just put it like a headband with all your hair out of your face. Velcro it quite securely is pretty isn't it and I take this off and you know if you've got very long hair you have to put your hair in little sections sort of wind it and pin it flat to your head what I do I maybe take a couple of sections I sort of bring it up this is not you know a law or a rule but that's how I do it and I just clip my hair any or how I sometimes also tuck it in here 
but if it's too much hair you you can have like a bob here but let's leave it like that basically just try to get your hair as flat to your head as possible and then you take your wig and you put the front on first stretch it over the back and then adjust the front adjust the ear tabs okay and now see where your hairline is and adjust it okay so as you can see it's quite flat um, just all fold so then you have to play with it so I am going to do my parting a bit off center because the monofilament is quite wide so you can have it I just don't think the middle parting suits me as much so about here see that mirror better and as you can see it's very line fold so you have to train it one thing you can do is do it with your hands with the warmth of your hands try to press it up and you can steam it i have a little handheld cloth steamer so i might try that later but also if you just play with it and like try to turn it over you see you get that swoop so don't think that every wig there are wigs that you know you put on your head and you don't have to do anything with it it just looks fabulous straight from the box but there are wigs that you have to adjust a bit to the way you like you see already i have a bit of a swoop also i sometimes take a comb and slightly back comb it and then you can use like a wig hairspray and get it off your face anyway this needs work done obviously but let me just show you the actual style of it so as you can see it is angled bob this is the back of it yeah i really really like noriko's fibers you don't feel like you have to be very gentle with it you know like with the heat resistant fibers noriko's um wigs are usually quite thick they usually have a lot of permatis but this one has maybe tiny bit but not much at all so you're not gonna have this big puffy wig like Jackson's got a lot of permatis you can flatten it you can loosen it up a bit but Jackson has a lot of permatis so I know that I will just have to do something with this front because I want it more of my face and that is very easily achievable with a bit of you know even though you're not supposed to use heat on those I think if you use a bit of steam obviously be very careful don't do it all on too hot now this color it's a bit warm but you know my hair when my hair hasn't been freshly colored my color goes a bit like this you know my highlights uh, are not as bright and and the darker low lights that I have in my hair when they wash out they start looking a bit yellowish so my my hair color sometimes looks like this of course I prefer my shaded biscuit so let me compare it here I've got um, Raquel Welch Simmer in shaded biscuit you can see it has some warm bits in it but it's so much cooler as so I definitely prefer this color but I don't mind this one too much I would compare I think this color the um, creamy toffee are to Raquel Welch golden wheat i think that's probably the closest color now the
the lace front as you can see the knots are quite visible they are quite thick it's just they don't do lace front as well as John Renault or Raquel Welch but like I said this is also reflected in the price but um, if you're just starting with wigs and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you want to first get used to um, wearing a wig or see what suits you then I would really recommend Noriko if you go for Noriko wig that's got no lace front um, which Jackson doesn't I will show you that in a minute actually then they are even cheaper and I love my Jackson there are some pluses to not having a lace front especially if you match the wig color to your natural hair because you can make it look very natural without the lace so the lace gives you the appearance of your hair growing out straight off your head but the lace and the knots have to be done really well for for it to look natural so you see the more i play with it the more it is going into that shape so don't get put off if you get a wig and you think oh my god it's so flat what am i going to do with it there is things you can do um obviously there is less thing you can do with a non-heat defiant fiber like this than with heat defiant but um yeah i'm liking it a bit more and more you see when i now that's what i want so and I think this looks so much like my own hairstyle and to be honest this wig doesn't have that much hair it has quite a bit of hair but I would say it's like medium density um, and it feels very very feathery here because I suppose of that haircut um, it has those ends are very feathered in it My hair, I think natural hair is a bit longer at the back, but yeah. So it's a really nice style. They, they do really nice colors, actually. They have like a pinky one, ombre one. They do platinum blonde with the root. So there is few really nice colors. Oh, I forgot to tell you that this wig was sent to me uh, by Mimo Wigs. Mimo Wigs ships internationally by DHL and i think she's got some january sales on right now so have a look okay let me put the the noriko jackson because jackson is very i would say very similar at the front it's obviously longer at the back but it does not have lace front so on a jackson you just get that you just get that close laced front so there is no monofilament not lace front so of course if you had this this hair off the face it would look very wiggy but let me show you and i probably showed you before what you do with the wig that doesn't have a lace front to make it look more natural Uh, you can see straight away the um, pear matis on here if I just go like this I can make this hair <laughs> bigger and bigger um, but you can you know so as you can see the front is quite similar it's just longer this is supposed to be the Rachel cut from friends so with this wig how you make it because as you can see there is no lace front you can see the ridge what you do at the front but i said you can only do it if your hair is similar color which mine is you pull the hair around your face out from under the wig and you can't do that really with the lace front wig you could but i think that would look silly 
so now because I've pulled my own hair this is not sitting properly I don't understand why I think I should have made it a bit smaller I think I'll pull it a bit more so now because I've pulled my own hair up if I go like this all you can see is my actual hairline and my hair and the same here with the sides this is my hair so if the wind blows it looks like my own hair so there are pluses to wigs that don't have lace front but like I said you have to choose color pretty similar to your own hair I mean you wouldn't know with this wig where is my hair and where is the wig so I really like Jackson Jackson is one of my favorite wigs actually and probably one of the cheapest ones that I have because of the standard cap and no lace front and no monofilament uh, like I said it's got a lot of permatis but you know if you just go like this it will stay like that it's only when you go in with your let's do it that makes me laugh so much let's see how big we can make it look like Tina Turner now in simply the best right look <laughs> do you like big hair you can have that with this I mean it's it's unbelievable but look I can just go like this and it's back flat that's what I told you, you know, when I do my own hair and I use the mini crimpers for um, body, for like a root lift. That's what I feel permatis feels like. It's almost as if you've crimped the roots and when you go in there, they get bigger and bigger. So like a scaffolding basically for your hair. So yeah, so this is Jackson and this was a Zion. I quite like it but you see I want to make the front a bit more like this and I will get there. This is like you know this is first time I've been playing with it. Like I said I've only just put it on for a second, looked at the lace, decided to trim it but I haven't actually played with the front properly and tried to, to um, shape it but you see I, I think this one might have been more um, droopy than than it is now is that my hair no do you know what I feel like I might have trimmed this a bit I probably trimmed this bit here I think it was longer I can't remember but you can do things like that as well you can trim them you can thin them out but if you're not sure get your hairdresser to do it because you could ruin your wig <sighs> shall I put the Zion back on yeah I suppose Zion feels like he's got quite a lot of hair here I think he's got too much hair here look if I push it back that would look a bit better because it goes all forward and it feels too much the most of it needs to go to the back you see how this already has trained just with the warmth of my fingers playing with it like this you can really really train it and that will stay like this once you even though you're not supposed to style it with heat but we're doing it with the heat of our own hands once you've I've done this even when you wash the wig it will stay like this okay oh you can also do this like small circular motions at the front of the um, lace and you see that way you sort of get like baby hairs so that will make the hairline look a bit more natural as well because we have naturally baby hairs we don't have very clean hairline now I forgot to say and I should say at the beginning of my every week video again if you see me on Facebook advertising wigs 
you see me doing reviews like I'm doing now or just cut out parts of my reviews or my pictures this is nothing to do with me these are the scamming companies they steal my videos my pictures and try to sell their cheap $30 wigs pretending that what I am showing is what you're gonna get and you are not so please only watch my videos here on my own channel and only use the links that I leave you down below because I will leave you the link of the company that is re reputable and usually the company that sent me the wig so you know if you want this wig you would get the real deal okay my lovely so this was Zion from Noriko in Creamy Toffee R I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.